Hi guys, um, I'm currently at the restaurant at the Freetown City Council, the new building. And so far, so good. It's kind of like nice and all. But whichever side I'm actually kind of like going today, I'll kind of like take a few clips just so you guys can actually see the inside, how it's looking, and all of that. But I'm about to eat, and uh, I'll update you guys as I go on. Okay? Let me show you how the thing go. Woo. This is everywhere now. I want to thank you all for the invite. It's because of you that I've seen the mayor today, and for so long I wanted to see the procurement office as well as the auditing. So from today, when I saw the office, that inspires me to work hard, continue, continue learning, so that I want, so that I become what I wanted to become. Mm. A few things to say. I will say keep up the good work and your country is developing. The country is developing. Yeah, yes. Compared to where I came from, I don't, I don't let me shame this country. But compared to where I came from, the country is actually growing. I came here in 2018. Compared to what I saw in 2018, there's a large number of developments. This was not here in 2018. Yeah? Was he here? No. Yeah. So you can imagine. This is not my first time using the elevator. Where is that? <laughs> <laughs> but it's a it's a privilege. You know, when you when you step out of here, tell your colleagues, tell your friends, and the people that are always slamming the government, tell them that the country is moving, and you alone can change your country. It's a privilege. Thank you to Waka Salo for another opportunity and. Thank you again, Bianco. Uh, hope to see you guys some other time. Thank you. So I'll be doing the master's PhD again. If your mind is not open, if you're not exposed, your mindset dull and negative, you have a very bad character and attitude, and then they take you from year to year. Get all the PhD in the world if you like. I'm going to come out plain. I don't like school. Same here. <laughs> I don't like school. They are my parents are fed for school. I don't like it. <laughs> but one thing I will tell you also is I've always known what I wanted to do and what I wanted to be and that I am now. It doesn't have to take your teachers to tell you one plus one is two. We teach her how many kids have we found teachers college and say that they can do now. Sleep. We don't explore, we don't do research, we don't open with mind. I don't say how I learn what is in a school, and the same one I learn what is in a school, which is why I'm talking about approach. How time they go, now so you change how you deal with situation, how you deal with people, because terms change, things change. This is not a digital age. So when we went there, it was very good, and we had a beautiful experience. So we have this mindset that a lot of other people want to come, but they just want people to move with them. And also again, we have a plan to see how we can push edutainment, which is education, tourism, and entertainment. So what we first did was to see how we can bring people together. Within a week, we set out a press release. Without Waka Salon, it was just an ordinary press release, calling on people to come to Takogama. People don't know us, out of trust, they sent us their money through Orange Money. 
we wanted to go just 25 people. We had about 45 people for the first one, just within a week. And then we know people want to talk, people want to explore Sierra Leone, but do not have the opportunity. So um, what we did was to do another Takugama. So within two weeks, we did two to over 100 people, which was a success. And then um, I think in January, we sent out another press release wanting to go to Banana Island. This yeah, January 2021. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So um, we went to Banana Island. We wanted to go to 40, was it 42 or 44 people? 44. 44 people for Banana Island. And then we have the number exceeded. And then we had to do Banana Island within with two weeks. We did the first one on one Saturday and the other one on the following Saturday. Both spaces we are sold out. And then we thought it fits that, you know what? We can make something better out of this. So that was where Waka Salon came from. Just after the second Banana Island team, we gave birth to Waka Salon. Thank you very much. You're not the type to go out to keep on searching. Lost in the moment right now, but girl, you're hiding. And I have been looking so long, I know you feel it. What are we waiting for? So you guys should just kind of like excuse me i didn't do an intro and outro to this video and i'm kind of like editing right now so i want to thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video definitely should give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and i want to thank um chef for actually inviting me to tag along with him and to work a salon as well and i look forward to working with you guys in the future because i actually love what you guys do change the combined entertainment the tourism and education together which is so good i mean like we just have to kind of like put Sierra Leone out there and i really applaud you guys with what you're doing so um to my next video bye